When it comes to artboards, you can create them from the home screen. So you can click right here and choose any of these as I already showed you in the previous videos. But when you already created an artboard and you are inside Adobe XD already, you have one more option. So you can click right here where it says artboard tool or you can click A on your keyboard and you can choose from all of these varieties of artboards. And when you chose your artboard and you have it right here, you have a few more options right here. So first of all, you can change the width and the height right here and you can change the orientation of your artboard. So this is extremely important. For example, if you're doing some work which is going to end up in print, you can quickly rotate it from right here. So you can go from portrait you can see how that looks like. So basically it flipped width and height and changed their uh, positions and you can change it back to landscape and you can see it changes back. This option is responsive resize and it's what it says. Basically, it's mainly used for responsive web design. But when you click on it and you start to resize this artboard, you have these uh, pink outlines basically around the text and it's going to responsively resize as I move this along, but it has to uh, contain uh, itself inside of the container. And I'm going to explain that in a separate video, but just so you know, that is what that does. So just imagine you have all of these different images and shapes and icons, text, uh, shadows and so on, and you want to responsibly resize them, you have to have them in the separate groups and you have to resize those groups separately. But as I said, I'm going to explain that in a different video. Right here we have the scrolling. So if you want to use the vertical scrolling, which is from the top to bottom and the other way around, basically you have that option right here. And Adobe's X team, uh, team is working really hard to include horizontal scrolling as well so that you can present your clients with different slideshows and different sliders using this function and you can choose a uh, viewport height. So basically just imagine that this is a website and viewport height is at 1080. So if I try to extend this artboard, you can see that viewport height stays right here at 1080. But if I move it down, you can see that it changes. So you can basically see where is the fold basically. So where the screen ends and all of this uh, different information at the bottom begins. So that's what that is for. Below that we have appearance. So basically to how you can change the color of this artboard. So you can change this background color. You can select it from right here. So you can use this tool and choose any of these colors you see right here. So now it's blue, for example, you can click on it. You can enter hex codes, so basically the same as I already showed you with the colors. You can use solid color, linear gradient or radial gradient for this background of your artboard. So you can do that with it. And finally, we have the grids and we are going to explain the grids in a separate video. But basically, it's when you're designing, you want to have something uh, that is going to guide you through your design process. So that's basically when you're going to use the grids the most because you want to become more and more precise in your design work. So when you send it over to developers, they will know exactly where they need to place some elements. In the next video, we're going to cover layers and everything that the layers panel has to offer. So I'll see you there.